Okay, so I got laundry done that I need to throw into the dryer and I got um, our food put away and some other things done around the house. I got the garbages gathered and taken out to the rubbish bin. Um, I've decided to come forth on YouTube to make a video about March 11th, 2020. My husband and I and our youngest daughter, my middle child was at a friend's and my oldest is 27 so she was obviously in her own home with our grandson. Um, that morning a little after 6 a.m. I woke up and my husband was already up. And I said, hey, babe. And he's like, yeah, we're having an earthquake. And I'm like, okay, whew, I thought so. <laughs> I don't know why it was whew, but I thought so. But anyways, I get up, and of course, that was a crazy morning. And I don't remember what time it was, but he went to work. And I don't remember what time it was, but I laid down for a nap. I was really, really, really just exhausted. And I was praying for some reason at that time. I wasn't scared. I just felt like I was tired and I just felt like, well, I mean, you don't need a reason to pray. You just do it. So I felt the need to pray. I laid down in bed to take a nap, which is also unusual for me. Naps are unusual for me. And if I do, it's usually in my husband's recliner or on the one of the couches. But I laid down and I had a dream. And in the stream on March 11th, 2020, now this was before we knew about, I mean, we knew about COVID, but it like wasn't here. And um, in my dream, I was outside with our dog. Her name is Danielle, we call her Danny. And I heard a ruckus down the road. Well, I heard a woman screaming and then a man, and then I seen a cat run down the road. I'm like, okay, that's kind of odd because we have some cats where we live, but they're usually feral. Um, we don't feed them. They take care of themselves. You shouldn't, you know, bother with that. Honestly, I have my reasons. Um, but anyways, so then I seen, I don't remember if it was a cat or a dog, but I seen more. And then I seen I heard more people, but I seen more cats and dogs running down our road, which was odd. And then I seen some people, and my dog would have normally been going crazy, especially at other animals, because she barks at squirrels, um, birds, I mean, you name it, she goes nuts. All of a sudden, our dog was not on her chain anymore. And it's not a chain. She has a hook with like an aircraft cable hooked to like a, um, before we get our fence up, because we just moved into this house three years ago. Um, before, uh, so anyways, it's an aircraft cable on a run. So she wasn't on it anymore. And again, my dog does not get along with other animals. So it was really odd that she just stood right there. Like I was up on our porch and was coming down the stairs and noticing that our dog wasn't on the chain. <clears throat> All these animals are running. She's not going. She's just standing there looking at me and staring at me, actually. And I remember I took my phone out of my pocket and I remember holding it in thought so I was going to call my husband to tell him this weird thing that's happening and I didn't really know why I would call him about that but that was my thought well then I noticed across the road like it was different um there's a house across the road that like wasn't there so I remember getting my dog back in the ha in the house and I walked out with like some other people but I think my neighbor who was across the road, I think he was there off to the side, but there was a cliff and there was all kinds of animals like Noah's Ark or something, all kinds of animals running towards the mountain because we live at the foothill of a mountain. And 
but there were animals like elephants and lions and giraffes like and birds like that do not come from here they're more like from Africa um, we live a far ways from there um, I mean it gets cold which is kind of well between you know other reasons I've got my hoodie on so I'm cold today um, so I thought that was kind of odd and they were all running west towards the mountain and in that dream after all that happened I remember trying to get a hold of my husband and I couldn't and then my dream switched and there was people at our house and I was still waiting for my husband to get home I was really really feeling anxious and I was I felt aggravated and I felt selfish it was really strange there was people all over my house cooking and talking about is this it is this the end and then there was other people saying no no it's not the end you know we're just we just need to stay together and my house changed all of a sudden I had a house was bigger it had an upstairs and a downstairs and the basement was cleaned out <laughs> I wish that would come true <laughs> um <laughs> get off my butt and do it right um but anyways I remember like my mom was here and people I didn't know but my mom knew them or people that they knew but I didn't know them but they knew them um there was kids running around we had picnic tables set up outside and women were cooking and conversing in my kitchen and I remember all of a sudden just wanting a shower and I, I could go to the bathroom and I couldn't find like a bathroom to that was open to like go and do the things I needed and I remember feeling really aggravated and selfish and then all of a sudden I found a bathroom and I just got cleaned up and I was happy it, it was really odd um and I looked around at everybody in our home and I, I don't know like it didn't seem confusing it seemed rather odd but it didn't seem unsettling except for I had this unsettling feeling I really needed to get a hold of my husband because he was working and it made me nervous well I remember taking a vehicle that we don't even have um, and I took my mom and I took my youngest daughter and we left our property we went down the road and as we were driving we got on to like what we call a north our north way but it was like a, a highway and um everything was on fire and there was people going the wrong way and cars on the side of the road on fire and people all over the streets just yelling and screaming and coming toward like toward us and we were driving driving this way and all of a sudden, I was like, okay, wait, we'll forget this. We just need to get back home. We get back home, and everything's really calm. It's like a completely different world here. And when I got home, I don't think I had a phone call, but I just knew my husband was going to be coming home. And then finally, I did get a call, and he said he was coming home. I said, go home as soon as you can. And... Again, everyone was just kind of in the house, cooking, cleaning, doing this, doing that, kids eating and playing. And everyone, like, it was almost like everyone could just, like, live here together for some reason. It was really, it was really strange. And I remember my husband was, like, coming down the road, and he was ready to pull into our driveway. And I had a big sigh and like everything was just going to be okay and I remember in my dream telling him but I don't like I never dreamt that he like got out of the car and like came and face to face with him but I remember telling him we can't leave here because everything away from here is just complete chaos and it's so scary well this happened March 11th and I did look it up because I did forget the actual date of the day that I had this dream um, but I woke up and I, I called my husband in reality, um, and told him about the dream. And he's like, wow, babe, you know, we'll talk about it again later, blah, blah, blah. Well, 
Um, I wish I told someone sooner, but I didn't, other than my husband and my one daughter. And then I told my other daughters. Um, I told my mom, and I told my stepdad, and my brother and my sister-in-law, and I felt like I should call, um, we don't, we're not going physically to church anymore, but I felt like I should call our pastor, and she and I talked, and then I had an old church that we went to, and I decided to call them, and I, I talked to them about it, and then we had um, a man come to church, which we did go after this all happened, and I told him about it. Um, we believe it was a warning because, what was it, maybe a week later, we had talk of our schools closing down because of this virus, and then, um, so I think that might have been March 17th or 19th, and then, you like, in June, we had all the craziness of the unrest and everybody in the streets, and people were actually in the streets and setting things on fire, and, um, you know, the only thing that doesn't really make sense to me in this dream, even to today, was the fact about my dog and all these animals running. Um, those things in my dream happened first. So I don't know if it was some kind of anxiety that morning from an earthquake or if it meant some kind of change. Um, later on, it was probably in June, the end of June, I had another dream about schools getting set on fire. And I said to my husband, I don't want to even think about that because the other things in my dream kind of came true with certain things like with cars and people and, you know, things on fire and people being angry and running and, you know, running the opposite way of me and um, where I was trying to head out to. So we just prayed for discernment and for those things not to happen. Um, but today I just got over my phone that, which I knew New York City was, schools were going to close. Um, I'm just going to go and put this out there. We live in the foothills of the Adirondacks, which is New York, but it's very, very far from the city. We're almost to Vermont and, um, I think we might even be closer to Canada. I don't, I think that's only a few hours away where New York City's like five. Um, but the fact that this thing come over my phone today, which we knew close schools were closing, but they're going to close March 19th. And I'm seeing things all over the place about an upkick in the virus, which we knew about, um, <clears throat> the election, you know, there's a man out there who's been having a lot of dreams, and a lot of people say he's a false prophet. I don't even think he claims to be a prophet, but, you know, one of his dreams was kind of weird about, um, people's heads, like, they had, like, a wick in their head, and, like, they were like a flame roaming candle, you know, and people were angry and there was like fireworks going off, like their heads and, you know, it, it, the people were like still running around, but they were like cartoons in his dream. And, you know, he had this back over the summer and then that, and this was supposed to be in DC. So then here we are from summer to like months later. And I think it was just this past weekend or the weekend before that they had the million mega march for Trump in D.C., and there was BLM and Antifa there, and people were dining outside, and they started letting fireworks off, and it was, like, directed where these people were having dinner outside, and a lot of people were contacting him, which I don't want to be contacted, but um, a lot of people were contacting him about, um, wow, you know, you dreamt about that, like, 
all these angry people and they had like these wicks coming out of their head there was like like they were fireworks and then you know but take it with what you will take it with a grain of salt um a lot of people think that jesus is here a lot of people think jesus is coming back um i'm gonna tell you what i feel is that being a god-loving person and knowing his presence i believe that Jesus is in your heart all the time. You know, whenever you need him, you call upon him. And we're one or more or two or more in prayer. He listens and he listens just with you by yourself. Um, when you pray, not even out loud, but just in your mind, he hears you. And I don't believe this is the end, but I do believe that we need to repent that if you haven't found Jesus yet, you should. I believe that he needs his soldiers right now. And we need to stand up to the evil in this world because evil is like vines, you know, it starts out and then, you know, ah, uh, it's, you know, we, we ignore it. <coughs> well, not we, but <clears throat> many people ignore it. And eventually, these vines just start overgrowing and taking over. I mean, vines can take over a building. They can take over a, a city block. This thing just grows. And that's kind of like evil, how evil does it. It just grabs, and then it, you know, anchors, and then it it grows and grows and grows and anchors again and we can't let that continue to happen so um i don't think my dream is really important for maybe any one person maybe it was just for me i'm not saying the dream was actually from god um but i dreamt it and it was strange to me because not long after that day was when all that other oh, trap in my phone with all that stuff started happening. So, um, I just, I guess I'm just asking for people pick up a Bible and just start reading it start praying and start talking with him and if you can um let your guard down and open your heart and listen to what maybe he has to say to you and uh hug your family members and friends um i know there's a virus but you know what hug your families and friends everything's gonna be okay um just a bit weird. It'll get better. Have a good day.